This is Dark Cavern, released in 1982 for the Atari 2600 video computer system, courtesy of Mattel Electronics under their M Network brand. If the game looks vaguely familiar, it's because Dark Cavern is essentially the 2600 interpretation of an Intellivision game we looked at a while back called Night Stalker. A game where you controlled a little guy and must fend off killer robots, snakes, and spiders with your pistol and prevent them from doing you in. Dark Cavern, as one would expect, is a much more simplified version of Night Stalker on the Atari and also a much quicker game compared to the Intellivision original. If we want to go with that, whatever. Like the other game, your main goal is to survive the onslaught of killer robots while avoiding spiders and snakes that will impede your progress in ways that allow said killer robots to kill you. Unlike in Night Stalker, you already have a pistol on hand to defend yourself, but that pistol has limited ammunition, so you'll need to keep an eye out for additional pistols that appear on screen and provide you with some additional bullets. Robots and their projectiles are the only things that can kill you. Spiders will momentarily stun you, while snakes will deprive you of ammunition. Only robots are worth points when you kill them, and as you kill them they change color, and when a new one comes in they change colors again, and different colored robots are worth different colored points. And stuff. Control is straightforward in Dark Cavern. Move with the stick, fire with the button, and you use the stick of course to aim your shots in any four directions. Less complicated than Night Stalker's controls which made use of the Intellivision controller, but on the flip side, Dark Cavern's control is much more functional and reliable with the stock Atari joystick. Dark Cavern has a much greater sense of speed than its Night Stalking counterpart due to it being a slightly faster game and that makes it a bit more exciting but also a bit more challenging, especially once the board comes crawling with robots who will shoot on sight even in death and you have the balancing act of killing robots while escaping their own attacks and keeping an eye out for much needed ammo pickups. One hit is all it takes to do you in and once all your lives are exhausted, it's game over. Dark Cavern has no options though toggling the left difficulty switch determines whether you begin with one robot or four on the first screen. You know, for a game called Dark cavern. This cave sure looks a tad bright, doesn't it? Other than that, it's not a bad looking game, at least by Atari standards. Your little guy looks like a little guy, spider somewhat resembles a spider, and the robots look imposing at least. There is a bit of on-screen flicker which doesn't show on this DVD rip footage, so the spider is missing some bits, but it looks fine in the actual game. Sound effects are minimal Atari quality stuff, Nothing really special, but it does get the job done in keeping the tension up, which is all I could ask for for a game of this ilk. Overall, Dark Cavern is a solid Atari take on a pretty solid Intellivision game. Perhaps a bit more simplified, but the quicker speed does make for a slightly more challenging, but otherwise fun little game. Give this one a shot if you can.